Welcome to Mr. Brown's Basement, a channel devoted to sharing the craft of repairing, restoring, and modifying vintage electronic gear, and other random stuff. Here is an HP Pavilion laptop. It's getting a little long in the tooth, but it's still usable for the things that I need, for example, burning EEPROMs. But it's got a couple problems. The first problem is uh, some of these keys don't work. I received it that way, so I don't know if something had been dropped on it or maybe if they'd been poked at too hard or something. I have no idea. Anyway, a bunch of keys don't work. That's an easy fix, a new keyboard. The other issue is that it's slow sometimes. And that's easy to fix too with an SSD. So in this video, I'm going to be replacing the keyboard with a new keyboard. They're available on eBay for around oh, $10 or so. Unfortunately, the SSD is more. Anyway, one thing at a time. It's always best to start by removing the battery. Battery's out. The hard drive and the screw which holds in the keyboard from underneath are covered by this panel and this panel is held in by one screw. And that reveals the RAM, the hard drive, the screw to remove the keyboard is right there and there's a small icon next to it. Next we open the computer up and stand it on its end and push in this hole and the keyboard should come out. The keyboard itself is flexible and does come out, though not all at once, and you'll have to ease it out of the case. Lift the black plastic catch or tilt the ribbon cable up, that will force the black catch open. Now it's out. Position the new keyboard with its ribbon cable and close the catch. Rest the keyboard in its opening. You may want to test it before you put it all back together to make sure that it actually works. As long as the keys work, from A to Z, from 0 to 9, the caps lock and so on, I should be good. The new keyboard fits in, again with one screw. It isn't as good a fit as the original because it's lacking a frame that covers the seam between the edge of the keyboard and the rim of the case. It's also got weensy weensy holes next to some of the keys, like there and there. That's a minor visual distraction, but not a deal breaker for 10 bucks. I would have considered trying to salvage the frame off the old one, except some of the buttons are a different shape. For example, this enter button and this enter button are different shapes. So that's not going to happen. I guess I'll have to live with it, which won't be hard. The next matter is getting everything off this hard drive onto this hard drive. And for that, I have a toy which should make it very, very easy. But first, I'm going to pull this out. And the rest of these bumpers just prevent it from rattling and perhaps protect it because it's mechanical. But the new one isn't mechanical, so it doesn't need the same sort of physical protection. I will keep this hard drive as a backup. This one is 750 gigabytes. The new one is a terabyte. 
If you will be cloning the drive, as I will, the new one must be equal to or greater than the size of the old one. This little toy here can clone the drive for me. The source goes into A, which is the left hand slot, and the destination or the target goes into B. So far so good. I turn it on. And I press the clone button. It's busy doing its thing. It's taken about half an hour to clone a quarter of this 750 gigabyte drive. So I expect it's going to take about two hours to do the whole thing. It's got the cloned SSD in it now, and guess what? Not a big surprise, it starts Windows much more quickly now. That's it, just a few seconds as it should be. Boot time has gone from about half a minute, or a little bit more, to about 12 seconds. That's about all I can do to this computer to make it faster. Now I've got a usable PC for burning EEPROMs. I'll probably use it for making videos as well. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this short video. Not much to it, but if it helps somebody, that's good enough for me. If you did, please consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to Mr. Brown's Basement for more interesting and unusual videos.